Howdy, Trey here with Permian Exotics. Today we're going to be setting up two isopod bins. Let's get started. I've got two Sterilite bins that I've drilled into for ventilation. One is going to be for Armadillidium vulgare, Magic Potion, and the other is going to be for some very special Cubaris Panda Kings. So let's go ahead and start out by making the armadillidium enclosure. I find that two quarts of my black substrate works just fine for one of these sterilite bins. My black substrate was specifically designed for isopods and millipedes. It contains hardwood sawdust as well as live oak leaf litter to ensure that your animals always have a source of food available to them. Now I'm adding sphagnum moss to create a moist side of the enclosure. I'm also going to be adding some pieces of very rotten and soft cottonwood. Now that I have that looking the way I kind of want it, I'm going to add some leaf litter to the opposite side of the enclosure from the sphagnum moss. That way there's a dry side and a moist side. Alright, now that looks good. Now let's set up the Cubera species panda enclosure. First step is to add two quarts of Permian Exotics black substrate. Just like with the previous enclosure, we're going to add some sphagnum moss to one side. In nature, Cubera species live near limestone caves. So I'm adding pieces of coral skeleton to act as a source of calcium carbonate. Now that the enclosures are set up, I'm going to go ahead and spray down the sphagnum moss with some distilled water. It's important that everything is properly hydrated before I put the isopods in here in a couple of days. Well, there you go. I've shown you how to use Permian Exotics Black Substrate to set up two isopod enclosures for two very different genera of isopods. If you've been considering going bioactive for your animals, please reach out to us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. At Permian Exotics, we build bioactive from the ground up. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching.